Yo, what's up? Tony Touch right here in the Lower East Side. Shout yeah. out to Rap Grid. You know what I'm saying? We in effect chilling. Shout out to Battle MCs in the, in, in the place to be. Keep doing your shit, man. Rock on. Uh, my my defining moment came from Lions Den when the first DVD ever dropped, and and I was walking down the block. It was me and like a couple of my dudes or whatever, and I we was walking down the block, and this girl just was, walked by me. She's like, "Wait, hey, I know you. You you was on that DVD, right?" Da -da -da. That was the first time like I ever got that. And I was like, "Huh?" And she was like, "Yeah, I didn't even know you know people was." Then this was a girl like that, so I'm like, "Wow, like." So that that was pretty much the first time like I was like oh oh shit like this is you know this is a big deal this is something it's people seeing this shit you know what I'm saying my my name sounded like sound out here, but uh, what battle was it from specifically it wasn't th that was a DVD so it wasn't from a Pacific battle it was from the the DVD where it was me and Ice on the cover face to face and I battled K Shine and battle Ice it was from that one so that was like a that was like a big DVD like, that shit was everywhere. Uh, explain the difference between the Lions Den days and the and the Smack days. More more raw, more raw. We ain't have no big stage. It wasn't political. No big stage. Nobody was getting paid. Um, nobody was getting paid. Um, it wasn't no mics hooked up to us. It was just like raw with raw talent. You know what I'm saying? And now it's a little more prepped up, and you know what I'm saying, like. It wasn't like that then. We was battling in the sneaker stores and barber shops and CD stores, and it was just people crowd around you. You know what I'm saying? It was just different. You could feel the energy from the crowd because you're standing right in the middle of them. So that that that's how I would describe that. I mean, I feel like right now there's a little more money with the bigger crowds. It's a lot more money. Yeah, a lot more money, bigger crowds. Um, sometimes you feel like would you give that up just to go back and have a battle? And like the old shoe stores and stuff like that, and get that vibe back. I mean, I, w I wouldn't give up the money, but um, <laughs> at all. <laughs> but um, I would take less money maybe to go do it. You know what I'm saying? Because I I, I like that era, and I like I, I I like what's going on there. You know what I'm saying? So uh, my fault. That's you know, crazy. Somebody Snapchat me. My fault. But um, let me put this down. That Snapchat was kind of crazy, but um, yeah. But I like I I like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm from that, and uh, you know, closed room joints. Like, I I want to do another one of those type of joints. So I would take less money to go in there and and do that. Actually, yeah, yeah. The battle rap nightmare is like I'm the headliner at Summer Madness and they boo me every round, or like I forget my shit first round and can't remember any of my other rounds. Like, that's like the, that's just like the ultimate nightmare. You know what I mean?